use this. You probably have finished almost all of these. Uh, but I am going to do, you, remember you're supposed to be, do page 2 and 3 because the other ones we'll do tomorrow. So let's go to page 2 and you can just check and make sure your answers are correct. So the sum, sum is soma, right? We're adding. Who are we adding? We're adding 9 and a number that we don't know. That's x. All right. 15 is 15. Decrease means resta by a number p. 15, again, it's 15. Less than, be careful, it's resta. A number p, pero, what do we have to do? We have to do a little switch, and it becomes 15 minus p. So this is the final answer. All right. Hang on a second. Make sure my battery... Charge. Okay. I think it's charging. Yes, it is. Nine added to a number. Nine added plus a number x. The product of nine and a number x is nine product minutes times x. 15 divided by p. Okay, we're gonna use, we're gonna write it as a fraction. Okay. So the bottom ones, it's we wanna write it out as a, as a sentence, right? Hang on a second. So we're gonna keep it very simple. Okay, and you can have your own variations. So this one is just three menos minus a letter. Oops, perdón, a number que no conozco, representado por la letra G, minus a number G. This one we can write G minus, you know what, I'm not going to write, I'm going to use different ones. So we're going to write the difference, okay, ustedes pueden escribir como quieren, the difference between, entre, between G and 3, okay. All right, but the cosa es diferente. 15P. Remember, when we have a coefficient and a variable together, we're going to put a little dot here. It's invisible, pero está ahí. It's multiplication. So this one is just 15 times a number que no conozco, P. Representada por la letra P. I think that's a 9. So 9 divided by a number or just a number divided by x. Three, so again, this was I explained to it, uh, I explained this in class. There's th several ways of showing multiplication. So we have three times five, right? This is tres multiplicado por cinco. Or when you have a parentheses, that's also multiplied. So this says three times five. This is three times five. Y eso también es three times five. So we can even write it, three parentheses. So that is times 5. Hay un puntito invisible, pero está ahí. So we can write 3 times a number que no conozco, G. Bottom one, uh, let's just make it. Why don't we use the sum? Or the sum, a soma, of 15 and... A number p. Okay, so those are some possible sentences that you could have written. Let's go to the next page. All right, so el truco or the trick here it's always to do it part by part. Look, five, five, more than plus. Now, twice, kiss twice, twice is dos. Multiplicado por dos is times two. So it's two times, and what do we call this? A number. Let me put an N. Five, otra vez, divided. So five, and division, we're going to use a fraction. Okay, so hang on a sec. Five, divided by, por cuanto, twice. Otra vez, twice. Anytime you see twice, cuando ves is twice, is two times. Está. Two times a number. 
two times, aquí está mi times, a number, a number, un número, n, decrease, que es decrease, what is decrease? Minus five. Do it part by part. Add six to seven times what? So add, sumamos, six plus, right? Add to seven times y. Subtract six from seven. Oh, this one is a little bit uh, different. Subtract, aquí la palabra es subtract from I know they're separated, están separado, mm. pero es considerado juntos. So, subtract quiere decir resta. We're going to do 6 from 7 times y. Pero cuando es subtract from, cuando hay esas dos palabras juntas, we have to switch. So, this becomes 7y minus 6. So, this one's a little tricky. 4 times... The sum, remember what we did today? So when we write the sum, I want you to put it in parentheses. La suma, right? Aquí está four times. And what are we adding? Que estamos sumando? Three and W. So three and W. Okay. All right, so let's write it out. Let's write the sentences out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a little dot so that I don't remember. I'm going to put a little dot here, a little dot here, a little dot so that I remember that there is a multiplication, right? A little dot, a little dot. Just remembers. So let's write this. Escribirlo como parece. So that says three times un número or W plus four. Keep it simple. Simple. No hay que complicar mucho. No hay que complicar las cosas. Okay. Use simple words. 30 divided by, ¿por cuánto? By 7 times N. Un número que no conozco. Okay. So again, this is a parenthesis, remember I told you, so we're going to put a little dot ahí también. So we're going to write 30 times 30 multiplicado por 7 times otra vez and seven times or multiply by n decreased by 30. Okay. El próximo, we're going to write 2 times, right? Ponete en orden, meaning 2 times. And remember, when we see the parentheses y la suma, we're going to use the word sum. 2 times the sum of n and 5. Okay? We get parentheses, not revealing. Okay? 4 times w. Oops, that's not a w. That's a. No idea what that is. Minus 3. Oops. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Minus 3. Nice stuff. 4 times W minus 3. So that's it. Ahí estamos.